Hello, fight fans. James Smith from In This Corner for Fight Now TV in Canastota, New York. International Boxing Hall of Fame, day three, a wrap as the momentum builds for tomorrow's 25th induction ceremony. Today for us featured Eric Morales, four weight division world titleist from Mexico. He's announced his retirement. He'll be enshrined here someday in about, well, five years. Also, we caught up with former heavyweight champion, the quiet man, John Ruiz. And for us, the day featured a sit-down interview and then, well, an in-ring demonstration with Lucia Riker. And, well, you'll, you'll see why they called her the most dangerous woman in the world. So I, I shift my weight. I shift my weight. This was my most powerful punch. I punched harder than a man my weight on sports science with this punch, 920 horsepower. Because I use my legs, just because I use my legs here. Most people don't use their legs when they punch. They punch from upper body only. All your power comes from the earth. If you connect into the earth, bang, then yeah. you can throw power punches. Sorry, Just talk a little. give the mic back. <laughs> That's great stuff, give it up. <laughs> what uh, the fans would love to know, uh, you're, you're one of the few heavyweights that hasn't made a comeback or is still fighting like your pal Evander Holyfield. What's John Ruiz up to? Oh, boring, boring life basically. You're staying, you're staying at home with the family. I mean, I did so much traveling back in my career. So, you know, nowadays I just want to stick around, spend more time. I got a seven year old that I want to be more in his life and, and just uh, opened up a gym also and spent some time with the kids there too. And, you know, trying to, trying to live it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Trying to stay, stay active at least. Really, when you look back on it, first off, what are the highlights of your career? You know, the, the, the highlights of Asia, of course, you know, the number one thing is always winning the championship. You know, that's something that I, I, I can never put words to it. You know, that great feeling, especially beating a guy like Evander Holyfield, a legend himself. And, you know, in the basic, you know, I mean, it's something like that. And, and after so many things, so it was like my career was like an up and down, like a big old roller coaster. You know I mean, or sometimes we were up, sometimes we were down, and just something that, um, you know, that, that, the thing that I did enjoy, you know, being a heavyweight, you get to eat whatever you want, you know, you don't have to uh, cut weight. So that's one of the good parts about being heavyweight. So, How do you feel knowing that Oscar De La Hoya is getting inducted into the club? What are your thoughts on Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy? <laughs> Um, very well deserved, he feels. He had a great career, a lot of exciting fights. Um, he knows that Oscar, Oscar had a lot of sacrifices in his career, so he's very happy for him. What about Tito Trinidad? A warrior like you and a guy with a pretty good left hook? Si, un gran peleador. Tito es técnico, un corazón peleando y también logrando grandes triunfos. Yo creo que los dos tienen grandes méritos para estar aquí. Tito's a technical fighter, also very good fights, very exciting, um, because the both fighters are well served by the end of the What was, was it that made Eric Morales so special inside the squared circle? circle. <laughs> He said he definitely uh, likes to dominate fighters in the ring, but also for the show for the fans. Uh, he, he wants the fans to, to enjoy his fights. Did you, Did you folks, folks enjoy watching Eric Morales fight? Are you looking forward to coming here again in about five years and being inducted? Of course, it would be an honor. 
And next time, bring your sneakers so you can get in here with me, all right? <laughs> Give it up for El Terrible Eric Morales! <laughs>